Hey, uh, I was a little surprised to learn that I th always thought that Koshi uh, Schwartz inequality was kind of this independent result, you know, but it turns out you can prove it using the arithmetic mean, geometric mean inequality. And again, I thought they were two separate results that didn't have any reliance on each other, but you can actually use what they call AMGM to prove Cauchy Schwartz. Now, this is just a special case, uh, I guess, for n equals two, if you want to call it that. But we're, we're working with four variables right here. And we want to, we're setting out to prove this result right here. Okay, and again, this is the Cauchy Schwartz or just a special case, you know, dealing with four variables, but it is Cauchy Schwartz. Now, just, I didn't know what order to do this in exactly, but what I did is I just expanded all this stuff out for you. Like the right-hand side, this right-hand side expands to this piece right here, and it's just brute force multiplication. You get two A, B, C, D. Now, it turns out that's kind of the, the, the center stone of this proof. Now, l let me write down uh, the results here for this AMGM. Uh, inequality. Uh, this really means that for any uh, non-negative x and y, and I'll write it like this, uh, x plus y, where x, x and y can be any uh, non-negative numbers. Okay, this, this left-hand side here is uh, the arithmetic mean, the am, that's the left-hand side. And that's going to always be greater than or equal to. Equality occurs when x and y are equal to each other. But right here, you get square root of the product x, y. Okay. Now, I've known this, you know, of course, most of my mathematical life, you know, that this is called the arithmetic mean. You sum up two numbers, you divide by two. That's always going to be greater than or equal to uh, the square root of the product. So it relates sums and products. All right. And uh, I never knew it had this much power though. Now you can, in, in this particular case, since A, B, C, D is very prominent right here, the A, M, G, M, if you let this part be your X, you see, in other words, this circle piece right here is like the X you see right here. And then B squared, C squared is the Y you see right here. And the rest of it is just substituting in. And so this, this doesn't look like it would simplify nicely, but it really does. It's when you rearrange it, you get A, B, C, D quantity squared. And if you take the square root, you get A, B, C, D. Kind of cool, isn't it? And so that tells us, and if you, if, if you multiply through by two, which is a little more convenient in this case, why? Because two A, B, C, D is present on, on the right-hand side. This part right here is the right-hand side, and this is the right-hand side expanded out, right? And so what you get right here is this nice result right here that says that uh, a squared d squared plus b squared c squared is all greater than or equal to 2abcd. But notice that is what appears in the expansion of this left-hand side. You see, here's the left-hand side right here. And here's what happens when you expand the left-hand side. All right. And I color-coded this, hopefully, to make it crystal clear. You have equality right here, but since this expression, this object right here is greater than or equal to 2ABCD, we can just replace it right here, you see. And so we actually get our result. In other words, uh, again, uh, the right-hand side is equal to exactly this, but we've shown that the left-hand side is greater than or equal to uh, the right-hand side right here. And so uh, we actually get the result right here. We've proven it, uh, the statement right here. Now let's just check it out so, so from some various numbers. Uh, let, let's just say we had, uh, we'll just put, we'll say two cubed here. I mean, excuse me, uh, two squared plus three squared. Okay. That part right there, folks, let me get that enveloped in parentheses, all right? Yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm picking the numbers A equals two, B equals three, and then uh, we'll do C equals four. So what do we get here? Uh, four squared plus five squared. Okay, now this is just using 
arbitrary numbers. Again, negative numbers would work also. Uh, now, we're, whoops, that's a squared right there. All right, so now we want to establish that that's greater than or equal to uh, what would we have right here? Let's see, that would be, we're asking the question, are these greater than or equal to each other? And so that would be what, uh, two times four? Two dot four. All right, folks, again, I picked two and four for my C, right? So there's your AC and then plus, uh, what, three times five right here. You know, that is a squared right there. So we have three times five. All right. And that whole thing is supposed to be squared. Now, I'm not telling you, I mean, I believe it is, but this really is more like a question, even though I'm already writing it like it's a foregone conclusion. Now, let me get, if you'll give me just a moment, I'll put this in my calculator. Um, so this part right here, let's see, this piece right here, that would be, let's see, okay, y'all, this, the, the, this part right here would be uh, what, uh, I'll, I'll just come over here. This would be 14. Uh, three squared is nine, so that would be 13. Okay. Okay, and then this part right here would be what? Uh, 16, 25 is 41, so that's 13 times 41. Okay. Now, and y'all, that's this this part right here. Sorry, I, I didn't have quite enough room here at the end. And then this piece right here would be what? Uh, uh, so let me, let me write greater than or equal to, even though we don't know yet. Okay, now, so this part right here would be what? 59 squared 35. Uh, wait, that's, yeah, three times five is 15 plus eight is what, 23? So we get 23 squared, I guess, right there. All right, now I'm just checking the numbers. I'm just double checking this. Two times four, three times five, that's eight. Eight plus 15 is 23 squared. Okay, so, here we go, 13 times 41. Okay, I'm getting uh, 533 right here. Okay, and then right over here, 23. Yeah, so y'all, I, I, what I ended up getting was 533. Okay, and I may have made some mistakes with arithmetic. Uh, 41 times 13 is equal to 533, and then 23 squared, uh, 23 squared is 529. So it beats it by just four there. So this would be 529. Yeah, you know, I hope you probably didn't stick around to watch all this, but I did get 533 is greater than or equal to 529 when I just arbitrarily chose two, three, four, and five as my uh, A, B, C, and D. But anyway, th th to me, the big takeaway is that you could actually prove this. I, again, I thought this was a totally separate result, but it turns out the AM, GM result, the arithmetic mean, geometric mean, actually proves this. So that's kind of cool. All right, y'all let me know what you think.